Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. I'm your host, Scott Patton, and joining me is our other host, Martin Patella, the health coach at Life Enthusiast. Hey, Martin, how are you doing today? Scott, it's a glorious day. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> is. We both happen to be in British Columbia, Canada right now, and the sun is shining here. I happen to be on Vancouver Island. Martin is in the interior. Uh, hopefully, it's, uh, the sun is shining there as well, Martin. Well, even if it wasn't, you know, I feel the inner sunshine, which is a good thing. Like, when you, when you wake up balanced, somehow the sense of joy is available to you. And as, as I have learned more and more about balancing my pH, uh, the power of hydrogen, right? There has to be enough of the right ions in the body. When you're overly alkaline, you feel under-motivated and kind of depressed. When you overly acidic, you feel kind of anxious and overdriven. But when you're in the middle, balanced, things feel right. And so today I got a bed thinking, I'm getting it right. I feel like good. Excellent. Excellent. I'm, I'm the type that tends to be uh, alkaline because I'll, if I eat the wrong thing, I'll have a two-hour nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and uh, I can't figure out yet quite what to eat to get me charged up because uh, most of the time it's just kind of like really mellow. Well, that's your natural tendency. Your body tends to be naturally that way. And of course, that's what makes you a wonderful companion. You're not uh, uh, ordinary contrarian or uh, rubbing people the long, wrong way. You're just nice. Right, right. Whereas me, I'm naturally acidic. So myself, I am, you know, if I wake up and don't manage myself, I end up being not a pleasant company. <laughs> uh, when I was growing up, uh, when my parents had tried it, well, particularly my mom would try to wake me up, uh, I was often described as a bear. So uh, I know a little bit about the ornery part. Right. But anyway, so I wanted to just plug in the point of the hydrogen, right? The pH is measured in the, well, it's, it's a reflection of the, uh, acid alkali balance in the body and everything in the human body all the transactions all the exchanges they are running on electricity and whether we call it the ph which is the power of hydrogen which means just how many free electrons do we have available to donate that's alkalinity or how many missing electrons we present with that's acidity uh, is, is reflective. So we can express it either in pH or we can express it in millivolts. And um, Dr. Jeff Tennant famously said life equals electricity or life equals voltage. If you have voltage, if you have electrons, you can run your show. And without it, you're, you're suffering. Like, to be specific, like there's a um, minute, there are minute currents in the body at the cellular level. And uh, at uh, negative 25 millivolts, everything's running perfectly. That's the pH of 7.35. And if you push it too far, you're in inflammation. And if you push it in the other direction, you're essentially in the cancer territory like dis disintegration, lack of life, lack of energy, and then death. Wow. So it's really important that we keep our electrical system in top-notch shape. Right. And of course, the so electron... In our, in, I was just going to say, in our society today, uh, with the sort of things that we eat and the fact that we probably don't drink very much water and replace it with coffee and coke and beer and wine uh, we're probably gumming up our electrical system well from the electrical perspective it's the electrons right and the electron a missing electron is an oxidant and an electron donor is an antioxidant 
Like the language doesn't really reflect the electric things too well, but we can know this. Aging, rusting, decay, decay is a function of missing electrons. And so if we can donate the missing electrons somehow, bring them in. Like, for example, vitamin C is a famous electron donor. So when you're run down, feeling under the weather, something not right, everybody knows that you should be taking a, either a vitamin C pill or eat some fresh fruits and veggies. Oranges. Yeah, have oranges or limes. Sure, any of that. So that's how, so through our food, we can replace some of these electrons. Yes, we can. Right. When we eat a diet that's deficient in these uh, electron donors, the vitamin C and the likes, we end up uh, living not well. We end up aging faster than other ones. You know, all things that are um, um, carcinogenic in its nature, are automatically the opposite of antioxidant. They're an oxidant. So there's, I'm not getting any uh, electrons from when I smoke. I don't smoke, but it, you know. Yeah, if you were to smoke, you are automatically causing a much higher demand for this antioxidant activity, for the electrons. But let's talk about what it feels like in a room, right? Like if it's called negative ions and positive ions. And of course, stupid language, the positive ion is actually the bad thing and the negative ion is the good thing. And the point of that is this, when you're in a forest, there's an abundance of negatively charged or negative ions. And you feel refreshed and happy and all that. The earth itself, the ground, is the negative pole, is negatively charged, and the clouds are positively charged. And in a, in a thunderstorm, when a lightning blows, that's the rebalancing of the potential that's gone out of balance. What's good for us is walking barefoot on a moist surface that's connected to the earth something like a beach or a grass in the park, something that's helping us ground. Grounding is actually the, the um, fact the function of bringing the electrons from the earth into our bodies. And so in the car with the tires, you're insulated from the ground, just like in your walk in the park, if you're wearing rubber soles, like running shoes or other insulators, you're completely insulated from the ground. We have been sneering at doing the barefoot walking, thinking that that's the poor people's idea, when in fact, that's the healthy people's idea. So having all these excess electrons is, uh going to help increase our immune function. It's going to allow the body to fight against damaging free radicals, and it's going to age the natural healing process in the body. Right. Yeah. So because it's so universal, because it's involved in every function of the body, you will see positive effects on your skin, your organs, your thinking, your heartbeats, your uh, metabolic rate, your endurance. Like It's everywhere. So... In, if you're living a typical North American lifestyle it's, uh, and you're over 30, chances are you're in a negative, you're in debt when it comes to free radicals, well, when it comes to the electrons, not the free radicals. Yeah, exactly. you have excess free radicals and not enough electrons to work, uh, to, to do the work. Right on. This is where the English language and our Western thinking is just so confusing because it almost seems like everything that you would want to say about this is backwards, right? Like the, the words negative are associated with happy outcomes and the word positive are associated with the unhappy outcomes. So we have these donors, we have these donors of electrons, the most famous one being vitamin C or the most popular one, but there are the, the most universal, the simplest, the 
the most uh, effective donor of the electron, is the simplest element in the universe, which is hydrogen. An atom of hydrogen consists of one electron and one proton, and they easily separate from one another. The hydrogen is actually a quick donor of these electrons. And in, in one of our podcasts, going back a little ways, when we were talking to Ken Campbell, we were talking about protonization or the alchemy of the human body, how we can exchange one element into another using protons. And that's the other part of the hydrogen atom. Like when you add a proton to something, you change the element. That, that happens in a living mammal body quite readily. All of these elements that we see around us, uh, the physicists, quantum physicists and scientists, they speculate that the only way this could have happened is if the stars created them. When a young star becomes an old star and dies, and through the process of dying, it will create all of these other elements. But it's also possible that living bodies or living creatures have done the protonization for them. I was going to say, so how, you know, we know we need more of these electrons. We know we don't have enough. Uh, I can't, you know, eat 25 oranges so a day for very long before I turn orange. So what are some solutions? Well, the simplest way to get it is through hydrogen. Molecular hydrogen. Of course, molecular hydrogen is hard to come by because it's the lightest element and it disappears. It's, it's lighter than air, so it rises and goes away. So normally you need to uh, have some kind of a chemical reaction inside of the body that will cut the hydrogen loose so then the body can use it. But there are supplements, and we have some, that allow you to do that. And okay. so when you introduce the hydrogen into the body, you have access to much more electrons, so therefore you have the antioxidant effect. In fact, a little while ago, we were talking about uh, this product called carbon-60. Yes. And the C60 we were noting was just so good at, uh, at uh, reversing aging symptoms, like joint pain and, and sagging skin and, uh, and allergies and not sleeping well and having to get up to pee often and all of those kinds of symptoms. Almost everything that you would associate with aging. And the method by which this C60, carbon-60 does it is that it's, it looks like a little ball and inside of itself it holds on to uh, hydrogens and the hydrogens are willing and ready to give up its electrons. And so that's the cycling of the electrons through the body. So as the C60 is circulating in the body, it's giving away these electrons, thereby restoring youthfulness, if you will, to the damaged tissues. The Japanese and the Koreans have uh, popularized it through water, right? Like they, they have these water machines that uh, separate water and al allow the alkaline water to be abundantly available. So people drink the alkaline water that has excess of the electrons. Another way to do that is to put a uh, pill into a glass of water. There's a product called H2 Elite, which is just a simple tablet. You throw the tablet into a pint of water and five minutes later, you're drinking water that's been enriched with hydrogen. Ah, okay, cool. And then you take a swig of C60 so that the C60 binds the hydrogen and helps to stay in the body and circulate. And now you have the perfect combination of anti-aging technologies. Huh. I mean, this is not a little deal. This is a big deal. Like, for example, yeah. when they fed the C60 to rats in a laboratory, they managed to double their lifetime. Like a typical rat would live 33 months. Well, they were getting 66 months out of the rats. Wow. That's pretty amazing. That would mean that if my expected lifespan is 84, I would be doing 168 on that. And I'm assuming that the rats uh, were 
fairly active and healthy right up until when they passed on. Yes. Yeah, the scientists were kind enough to keep on feeding them to see just what will happen. And it was a fairly lengthy study, right? Five years. They, they published it. And uh, from that moment forward, uh, there's been quite a bit of interest in the C60. That's a, it's a pretty powerful supplement and I've had it. I'm waiting for my order and uh, I'm looking forward to having some more. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I've now had a good number of people tell me I don't ever want to run out. Cool. So if we wanted to get some more hydrogen uh, into us or uh, the ions into us uh, and we didn't want to be drinking C C60 all the time, what other ways can we do that? Well, so one of the methods is the water ionizers, right? Like an ionizing water filter or, I don't know, the most famous one was Kangen, but there are many on the market. We have uh, on our websites the brand Alkazone. So if you want to have that, you can install a um, water alkalizer in the house and drink the alkalized water. So that's one. The other would be uh, get the H2 Elite. These are the tablets and you take the tablets and you just put them in water. You can just go buy yourself a pint of water in any commercial store, pop in one of the tablets and five minutes later you have yourself a uh, hydrogen saturated bottle of water. And then we also have some uh, drops like the product called Daylight. That's the um, power of hydrogen concentrated. You can just put a drop into a glass of water and off you go with that. So you would just put uh, one drop of the daylight into the into a glass. Is that how you would? Yes. What happens if you accidentally put like four? Well, I have taken it straight in the mouth. I'm finding it the most sour tasting thing that I've ever encountered. Okay. I don't know. Taking too much of a good thing. I, I don't think that there's a serious problem with that. Yeah, you would have to get really serious. Like, for example, if you drop a single drop of that concentrated daylight on your clothes, it will probably cause a bleach burn on the clothes. That's the other thing. Hydrogen is a bleaching agent, right? Just like oxygen or chlorine, hydrogen can bleach things. Okay. It's very unfriendly toward uh, pathogens, like pests and uh, toxins and things like that. So the, the daylight can be used for uh, cleaning things like put a couple of drops into a sink of water and wash your vegetables with it type of thing. Oh, cool. And some of it would just attach to the vegetables and you'd have a little extra hydrogen in your vegetables. Maybe so, yeah. I didn't think of it that way. I was thinking, and you will be eating uh, food that has been sterilized in an effective way. Right, right. Well, when you're talking about bleaching, uh, I, I went immediately to uh, all these teeth whitening uh, products that you see on TV and uh, on the internet, right? Where you put this stuff on and then you just do whatever it is and you stick it in and leave it for half an hour and then you have this bright white smile. And I'm just wondering what is in that stuff you're putting on your teeth? Well, that mostly is hydrogen peroxide. And that is an oxidative effect, the opposite of the hydrogenating effect, right? Like when, you, when you're causing oxygenation, you're actually, um, well, bleach is an, uh, either, either chlorine or oxygen, right? Hydrogen peroxide is this bleaching agent and you're, bleaching away whatever's on the teeth. Hopefully you're just taking away all the stains. Right. But I, have, I can't imagine it being that good for the teeth. Probably not. You're probably taking off more than what you're wishing for. It's, it's probably a, a short-term gain over long-term pain. It may wear the teeth out sooner than you would have expected. Right. Uh, so, Martin, we also have Moonlight. Would that work also with uh, adding more? Oh, yeah. The Moonlight is a companion product. It's got some of that, but it's also loaded with Armus. Armus is something that we have talked about in other times. 
the, the, uh, the, the moonlight is something that you take when you want to detoxify and strengthen your electrical, electrical circuitry in your body. Oh, cool. The most, uh, well, the most popular or popularized product of this category is called Mega Hydrate. That started with Patrick Flanagan, first released as Mega Hydrin, Micro Hydrin. He, uh, yeah, he lost the marketing rights to a couple of his products, so he had to keep renaming them. The original invention was based on research done into what are the uh, long-living Hunza people up in Pakistan under the Himalayas drinking that's causing them to live this long. And they, the boys came to the conclusion that it was the mineral rich water that they were drinking. And then the plants that they were watering with that mineral rich, rich water that was giving them all these antioxidants. Mm. So what he developed was this silica based product that was readily uh, donating these excess electrons. So that's, that's the mega hydrate that we have in the website. That's, uh, it's another way of doing the same thing. Get yourself a whole lot of excess electrons. Reverse the aging. So would you have, like, let's say, for example, using the daylight, which we were just talking about, would you take, uh, like, a couple of drops in a glass of water in the morning and be done with it? Or would you take, you know, they say, you know, it's eight glasses of water a day or 12 glasses of water a day. Would you have a couple of drops in each glass? Or how would you go about doing that? Yeah, I think the best method would be to spread it around the day, right? Because uh, if you take your entire dose first thing in the morning, then you have a spike. And uh, then for the rest of the day, you're going to go back to having a deficit. Right. So it would make sense to uh, put four drops into a large bottle of water and just drink it through the day. And how long do you think it, it would take someone to notice a difference? Well, I mean, it starts working immediately, right? But we have a deficit. So as we're working against that deficit, it will take a while to um, build up or build down, if, if I need to use the right language. It'll take a while to soak up the deficit. But at some point, you're going to feel it, no doubt. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add before we, uh, we finish off this? episode aging is the rusting of the human body oxygenation it's not that different from watching the body parts on your automobile getting covered in rust and then becoming perforated and then falling apart it's quite similar to that in the human body and the antidote to that is free electrons that we need to donate there are multiple ways to get them, but one of the fastest and most effective ways to do it is through the universal electron donor, which is the hydrogen atom. Anti-aging, I don't know, who, who would not want to be in a body that functions better than what you would expect? That's right. And the other thing that happens when you get to all these excess electrons in your body is your body is able to heal. So things that we're doing that uh, maybe over time, you know, whether it's arthritis or uh, inflammation are going to have an opportunity to heal as opposed to just continually getting worse or masking them with uh, painkillers. Yes, that's a good way of putting it, is that you can actually reverse the damage. Swollen things become unswollen, itchy things stop itching, um, painful things stop hurting, and lost function starts returning. So you'll get flexibility back and uh, all, all kinds of functions improve when you're on it. And I guess, I guess the other thing that we should say is, you know, if, if you're drinking a bottle of wine a night or uh, a six pack of beer and you're smoking and you're uh, eating a whole bunch of food that's uh, highly processed and uh, not really adding to your health profile or your healthy lifestyle, uh, 
you're working against yourself. So this isn't a magic pill where oh, just I can put a couple drops in and go back to smoking my cigarettes. Uh, you need to really look at your lifestyle and how you how you live, and that's including things like having quiet time. You know, I just keep thinking back to when we were kids, and it was like it's nap time. You know, and we should be doing that to adults. Right, ah, it's nap time. You need a little quiet time, a little meditative time. Uh, you know, time to let the stress just go out of our lifestyle. I, you know, you just can't, there's just no magic pill. I guess that's what I want to say is if you're doing things that are causing problems, and this is, you know, one of your famous sayings, Martin, is when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you have to do is stop digging. And uh, I think what we do so much is we just keep digging this hole and then we look for a magic pill that will be an escalator out of the hole. And that's really not the way our bodies work and, and nature works. So we need to have the discipline, create new habits. Uh, but this is one thing that will really help you because you're going to feel energized. You're going to start feeling a bit better and you can start spiraling up as opposed to spiraling down. And uh, we really strongly advise you to you know, head over to Life Enthusiast's website and check out some of these products and try them out and see what they do for you. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Actually, I must say this, the hydrogen, is probably the quickest thing you can find to help you combat your unfortunate habits. Like if you need rejuvenation fast because of your bad habits, this is probably the most effective way to, to do it. If you want more of uh, similar ideas, come to www.life-enthusiast.com. You can also call us for specific uh, advice based on what your local situation. Call 866-543-3388. This is Martin Patella and Scott Patton for Life Enthusiast. We restore vitality to you and to the planet. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.